हाँ नाउ कैन यू सी मी यस और मेरा हाँ मेरा स्लाइड है उसको करके तो इंटरप्रेट करिए आई एम एडिंग स्लाइड नाउ मुकेश कैन यू कैन यू जस्ट कंफर्म मी दिस विजिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस स्लाइड गुड इवनिंग सर यस सर गुड इवनिंग सर सो द स्लाइड्स विजिबल सर यस सर स्लाइड्स आर विजिबल ओके तो शाल आई स्टार्ट नाउ यस सर वी कैन स्टार्ट नाउ ओके ओके fine thank you so yes so first of all like uh, i would like to again thank uh, dr rajiv ranjan sir uh, for giving me this platform to address and connect my colleagues my friends and educators all over from bihar and uh, jharkhand in fact uh, today's topic what we have selected together that is the growth mindset of educators so that is uh, the topic what i am going to uh, deal with and uh, this is very important for all of us to understand that why the growth mindset is required among the educators uh, i believe always that a educator is a person who is influencing the society and when we are influencing the society the uh, the mindset of the educators if it is uh, positive it is towards growth definitely the society will have the different perception and it will grow any problem uh, can be seen in a different manner but the problem has got solutions there are two different types of solutions one is we try to resolve that is also a solution and one is we try to solve that is also a solution so basically we will be talking about almost now 55 minutes on these areas and that's very important for all of us to understand so uh, we will start with the first uh, slide right now and uh, this is just a moment yes yes so uh, what is growth with what is growth mindset but it's overlapping just a moment
Yeah. Now, when we talk about the growth mindset, so it is the people with a growth mindset believes that they can develop the abilities. Like, the, but then where there are people those who are with the fixed mindset. We should not talk about that one. But then they have a different, uh, you can say, uh, the views. So there is a Carol Dweck, a psychologist in Stanford University. He proposed that the fixed versus the growth mindset theory, comparing the two differences between the growth and the fixed mindset behaviors and outlooks that help to understand what exactly a growth mindset is. So it is basically the individuals with a growth mindset often have a more positive outlook and a better at dealing with setbacks. So uh, this is uh, the finding of a you can say a psychologist, but what is growth mindset? You know, there are different theories about the growth mindset. The growth mindset is those mindset who always keeps on hunting for some positive solution. And these positive solutions, they are able to find out because they are always in a positive mindset and they try to research out from the comfort zone to get the solutions day and night. Now, many of the principals or the teachers, you face several issues in the classrooms. Now, recent one out of that, I'll, I'll, I'll share with the uh, team over here. Like in all the schools, generally you find there are three fights, three types of fights that takes place among the boys. Basically, when we talk about the co-ed schools, the first, type is basically such where they fight for friendship with some students with the opposite gender. Second type of fight is for the supremacy that set of students who has nothing to do with that one, but they also get involved because they wanted to help their friends to be with them, it's like that. So all these, all, all such uh, problems, what we find, uh, they are available in almost all the schools, all the institutions. How we are handling with this, sir? How we are handling actually matters. So in such a scenario, uh, I think one is required is the counseling, the constant counseling of the uh, parents. Second is constant counseling of the teachers and the counseling of students also. Uh, this is actually covering the the face. Can we just put it down? And this one is uh, coming up. Yes. Uh, thank you. This one is. Uh, we need to close it. Thank you, sir. Just a moment. I'm having some problem with the screen i'm just uh, arranging it so this is why this is coming all the series okay sharing is going on fine correct ah, good now if i need to sir if i need to make the uh, sir if, if i need to change this one then this one yes i've changed thank you ah. So, uh, sorry for the delay, uh, there were some technical issues. Now I think it is over. So now growth mindsets. So uh, this is what I, first of all, I suggest that the constant, uh, si what we call counseling of the uh, parents, teachers, and the student can resolve many such issues. We need to accept them as a grown up. We cannot just treat them as the students because while treating them like a students, we forget that uh, these uh, kids nowadays, they are going with the adolescence period and we need to understand their requirements also. So respect is required and this respect, what we have to give to all, to our teachers, to our parents and to our students. So counseling with the respect can resolve many such issues. 
Now, uh, you know, the teachers of uh, my generation and teachers of coming up generation uh, should not make the issues and the problems of these things of this nature in the school as you can say uh, uh, they are uh, their prestige issues. It's not a prestige that I'm not able to handle. I'm not able to do it. So let me punish the child. Let me punish uh, his, him or her. So this type of mindset is not a growth mindset. The growth mindset is that you need to be one among them, think like them, counsel, and then make them yours. So you will Yes. Okay, sir. Am I audible? So change coming. This is growth mindset. This is what you
And dear participants, kindly wait. Uh, we are facing some technical issue. Within minutes, it will be the start. Uh, there is a, some network issue. It, it is going to be resolved. Please wait for two few minutes.
participants are requested to just be online. Uh, there has been some technical issues on the part of resource person. Uh, he is trying to resolve the issue. So please be on the line. Uh, uh, wait for a few minutes. He will be back uh, soon.
Yes, and now I can unmute myself. Thank you. Uh, okay, sir, can you hear me? Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay. So uh, basically, we lost all complete 20 precious uh, minutes. And uh, this is because of the WebEx problem, not because of the internet. So sorry uh, for this delay and thank you for bearing with it. So uh, as suggested that we have started with the growth mindset, so I can still find people connected over there with the growth mindset. Thank you very much. So uh, growth mindset, uh, as per the slides, what you can see here, that is uh, growth and fixed mindset greatly affect how people respond to failure. So just now we have currently, we have uh, been the witness that how the WebEx failed and we were trying our level best to connect and many of the participants, those who are a part of uh, this uh, seminar, uh, I, I find that they are still there. Three of you have been constantly messaging uh, that uh, how we are not getting the sound and all that. But we tackled it well, and finally we all are well connected. Thank you, thank you very much. So, so thank you, sir. It was a part of your session. So uh, nice, <laughs> and you know, uh, more than two thousand eight hundred participants are joined till now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, so basically, now when we are talking about uh, this uh, growth mindset, I have. Given my, my slides is also here, yeah, so we will go for the next slide, how we are working. And you just change the slide, sir. Slide change. Okay, sir, just uh, change the slide. Yes. So uh, now, no, no, the previous one, previous one, sorry. The previous slide. Yeah, so we have yeah this one so when we are talking about uh, the growth mindset what is growth mindset we have just covered and uh, the people with a growth mindset believe that they can develop abilities through studies and effort whereas the persons with a fixed mindset can consider themselves to have an inner that innate ability that is static. So with a positive mindset and good effort, uh, people can attain a high, high, you can say, goals. So this uh, we have uh, discussed, then we will go for the next one, the growth mindset. And I said that growth mindset are, and fixed mindset that greatly affect how people respond to failures. And we just discussed that one. The third slide is talking about, can we just go for the, the growth mindset is uh, freedom, the perseverance in the face of failure, effort is required to build a new skills, find inspiration in other other success, and aspects that uh, they, they accept the criticism, desires to learn, and build the abilities. These are the mindset for the growth uh, mindset, and the people with limiting themselves they have the fixed mindset and what are their mindset they try to avoid the challenges they ignore the free feedbacks they threatened by other successes that they, they get threatened by the other successes and the desires to uh, to look smart and give up easily and fix the abilities now it's a very interesting aspect for all of us to understand i think three four years back there was a, uh, you can say, a problem occurred in Delhi that a question of CBSC was made public out, a lot of UN cry was done, the investigation carried on, suspended the uh, principal, vice principal, and then uh, what has happened that the affiliation of the school was also cancelled. Now, what actually happened that time, what we collected from the newspapers and the different agencies, that a person inside the organization, one person, was having this one uh, that uh, he was threatened, he was actually feeling the threatening with the success of a person. So to pull that person down, 
he did all this conspiracy and finally what happened that everybody suffered with that one so this is basically a problem with the fixed mindset that you are not thinking in a positive manner and you are holding yourself you are staggering yourself and that is very dangerous now when we talk about can we okay sir can we go with the fourth slide just change the slide next one next one please change this slide next one yeah thank you so uh -huh. so generally when we talk about what is the significance of the growth mindset in education because when we're talking about the growth mindset of the uh, educators so this is very important for all of us to understand about this slide it is more beneficial to praise students like if you are basically an educator and you wanted to have a growth mindset please have uh, we can say the positive approach praise your students effort in education rather than their intelligence now as it is important to encourage them to face more difficult challenges now uh, why this is very uh, like uh, we all need to understand this one like efforts needs to be appreciated not the intelligence uh, this this is uh, we need to understand intelligence the moment we try to praise the intelligence the people will give up that means it is you are stopping the growth but when you praise the efforts the efforts are going to multiply and that is going to bring success to the people for example a child who has been scoring 90% constantly now few teachers level them as an intelligent child few teachers praise their effort look at the effort of the child he is constantly working hard so he is getting 90% so we are linking his marks with his effort and that needs to be actually appreciated the learners who were taught how to build their levels of intelligence performed far better in education and demonstrated more motivation in the learning experience also individuals with a growth mindset are more likely to become successful people as they are more ready to accept new information so uh, uh, again a sachin tendulkar i'll give you example of sachin tendulkar whenever tendulkar used to go out to bat in uh, the ground the so people of the country they always believe that he is going to get century but not always he scored century many times he was bowled out for zero and all that but that does not mean that he was a bad player he his effort at that day his his timing of that day particular may be wrong or may be less so in that case the day when he has put more effort more focus and his luck also favored him we scored centuries over there so the people have seen the result and people used to appreciate when he was making centuries but people many of them they ignored his effort but few people have seen his effort that how he has practiced for 10 hours in the net and then when he goes out to play uh, that uh, uh, that at that time he was getting all these facilities i mean she is getting enjoying all those things over there uh, i again i am getting complaint that i am not audible but uh, i think uh, this is what i see here that uh, my voice is going uh, anywhere yes you are audible so, sir perfect i am audible but thank you so <clears throat> so there are many other benefits of uh, acquiring growth mindset activities in education for example learners with a growth mindset are more likely to show more confidence to face challenges and to achieve high risk goals also they exhibit better brain development lesser anxiety stress and depressions are less higher human motivation higher performance levels and better work interrelationship or relationships these are the positive aspects of the growth mindset now we'll uh, go for the next slide 
yeah this is talking about what are the most effective strategies to foster a growth mindset sabse jyada jo effective jo aapke growth uh, mindset mein hoti hai kaun si aisi strategies hame apnani chahiye teachers need to demonstrate unko and and, and uh, what we call engage students to challenges normalize the struggle these are the strategies what i think that we need to reinforce among the students so that we can actually uh, inculcate more positive positivity and uh, uh, what we uh, the, the growth growth into the teachers stay positive we always has to be in the positive state of mind staying positive in the classroom may help teachers to develop a growth mindset in students for example using the word yet now this is a very good example if a student if the student says i am not good at maths incorporating a simple qualifier will slow we would show that the student may still show better academic performance and develop the ability for example you can add you are not good at maths yet that means you can do it better in future so just putting the word over the yet i think the entire discussion entire problem is resolved so if somebody says that i cannot climb the mountain probably he is overweight he has uh, no ability to you can say walk or he has no experience of climbing the mountain so in that again you can say you cannot actually climb yet you may be in future you can do it so this is how you are encouraging the person so <clears throat> indicate errors and celebrate the correct and then you can do the corrections error should be seen as a lifelong learning opportunities this is i think applicable for all who is attending that you need to understand we can make error we can <clears throat> live with the errors but we need to rectify it if you are rectifying it you are learning and you are getting the opportunities to learn this is the indicator of errors <clears throat> highlight the significance of difficult task to the brain so <clears throat> that <clears throat> when you highlight the significance of the difficult task to the brain the brain recalls restores and remembers for example there are certain highlights for example when you see the academic calendar as a uh, educators we find that these are the days which is important like first of all when we see the academic calendar the things what we see is number one when your unit tests are going to start when your term exams are going to start when you have the pavali break when you are having christmas what we call the dashara break what when you are going to have with your summer break these are the things what you are looking for now that means somewhere it is already stationed in your mind so this is important i think that uh, shall we uh, change the slides please please change the slides sir we can go to the slide set objectives set objectives next to this slide please now uh, so the set objectives according to according to the several growth mindset studies it has been noted that having learners and employees set incremental attainable goals demonstrated demonstrates the achievability of educational progress and career success and when we talk about the group work the working in groups to perform task emphasized uh, emphasized uh, sorry there is a call which was okay it emphasized process and highlights the importance of seeking help to find a solution this is a growth mindset intervention that reduces the importance of individual learning outcomes now <clears throat> that let me explain you the first part of that one 
So according to the several growth mindset studies, having learners and employees set incremental attainable goals demonstrates. Ye abhi hum logo ne kya tha, jiski growth mindset hai. That is always looking for a positive note. That is always looking for a positive solution. So in ki jo uh, uh, samasyaon ko samadhan karne ki jo vidhi hai, wo ek incremental hai, wo ek upar badne ki hai. Ye attainable hai, that you can achieve goals and demonstrates ye ek dikhata hai, darshata hai, that you can achieve it. Ye aap isko pa sakte hai. And this will bring you educational progress In your own we will go for the next one next slide is offering challenges an important aspect of building a growth please uh, change this one slide we will go over the next slide that is offering challenges so an important aspect of building a growth mindset is to touch uh, sorry is to uh, teach students to overcome barriers Her bacche ke paas ek barrier hota hai, and this is the duty of the teacher to Build the aspect of growth and mindset. You can actually overcome with that problem. So, engaging students in complex academic tasks. You can build the aspect of growth and mindset. You can build the aspect of growth and mindset. You can the aspect of growth and mindset. You can build the aspect of growth and mindset. You can the so it says that complex academic task or teaching a difficult concept to children that make stretch their abilities can offer opportunities for growth and next level of instructions that support the learning process. Ye ek bohat zaruri hai har sekshak ke liye that you have to go ahead to take all the challenges of the students, ki sari challenges ko aapko accept karna hoga. And then we can actually go ahead to make the path clear to the next level for the instruction for support to be given to the child. Now, avoid oversimplifying. Please uh, change the slides, sir. The, the slides needs to be changed. Two slides now. We are on the Next one is avoid oversimplifying. Yes. Now, according to the developmental psychological psychology theory, it may seem harmless to encourage the primary and secondary school student by saying statements like you can achieve everything. This is very dangerous trend. Why it is dangerous trend? He, the child can achieve everything if you say, but you are not showing them how this child can achieve everything. So you are not showing them path. You are just telling them it is very much achievable. So what will happen? The person whom you are telling it will perceive in future and make a concrete structure in their mind. Yes, everything is so easy. I can achieve it. Everything is not very easy. You know it as a teacher. So. Uh, we should not misguide the child. You can boost the child. You can actually back the child, but avoid oversimplifying any context. So it says, but if the learners aren't put in a place where they have to overcome barriers, they will think that such statements are meaningless. Let's say, kisi bache ko aap 100 meter race mein hai. You can do it. And you will get it. But suppose wo dora, but the If the child is left back, he will never value your statement. Because you have to do this. 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 You have never actually shared. How you can be a winner in 100 meter race? What are the techniques you need to follow? What are the uh, hard work you have to do? So you have not actually groomed the child with the hard work. You have not made the child acquainted with those things. So here, what you have done? You oversimplify the work. And this is actually a problem. 
So we need to avoid that problem of oversimplifying the things. So we should go to the next slide now. <clears throat> Don't praise intelligence. This is again, I have said that the intellect is Please don't praise that. You need to praise the effort. Otherwise, the good brains will stop working and they will become lethargic. They will not think that they have to work hard. They will not think how to do the work because they assume that they are very good and they are uh, intelligent, they can do it. Uh, we have a story in a that a khargosh or kachwe ki dor hui aur wo khargosh maan ke chal raha tha ki I will win and so he started taking rest and finally he lost similarly we should not put in any child's mind that you are intelligent this is again uh, mentors jo hai, as a teachers we are talking about the mentors they need to be uh, thinking about that one so this may appear contrary to the expectations, but praise for showing smartness may reinforce the concept that the intelligence is a fixed trait that can never be improved or growth. So this bachche ke dimag mein humne dal diya ki you are intelligent, so wo usko samajh mein aaya ki I have achieved everything. Ab to wo he is a god. <clears throat> now there is no scope of improvement, and he will never deteriorate. In that case, all this misconception, problems will crop up in the mind of the child and only and only we are accountable. So if we actually want to grow as a mentor, in that case, we have to have the growth concept. So we go for the next slide now. Now, this is so nicely, you can say, presented. Which step have you reached today? So every day assessment has to be done and uh, we need to understand that it says that effort is the secret to getting smarter. So every day when you are putting in a small uh, effort, you are quietly becoming smarter. Now, one of my friends, uh, he is a music teacher and he is at present uh, working in south africa so we had a word he said that sir i have come to south africa i have been working here in a college but in evening to get extra money i am also working in a hotel and on counter when usko pucha, achha, ye batao, ye, what difference you find between south african and the indians so, i'll share it with you कि सर इंडिया में जब हमारे यहाँ कोई ज्वाइन करते हैं तो we just guide them go and do this duty your this is your work and uh, kindly take up your job and the person happily goes and take up the job उसको बहुत समझाने की जरूरत नहीं होती है वो चला जाता है और वो अपना काम करता है और जब उसमें काम में गलतियाँ निकलती हैं तो दो तीन महीने प्रोबेशन में या तो हम लोग उसको निकाल बाहर कर देते हैं या फिर हम उसको मेमोस देते हैं नोटिस देते हैं और जो बंदा जब वो इंटरव्यू के टाइम आया तो वी फील ही इज वेरी गुड बट 3 महीने के बाद मेनी ऑफ देम वी फील इट इज अ बैड चॉइस और दे स्टार्ट फीलिंग दैट द स्कूल वेयर दे हैव गॉन इज अ बैड चॉइस एंड दे स्टार्ट रिपेंटिंग इनफैक्ट बोथ पार्टीज स्टार्ट रिपेंटिंग उसने साउथ अफ्रीका में बताया कि सर यहां जब लोग ज्वाइन करने आते हैं तो उनको ज्वाइन कराया जाता है और छोटी-छोटी चीजों को उनको बताया जाता है जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल he was working with a restaurant. So, he said, you will watch this. 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 So, small things are told, told to them. When they say that, yes, you have understood the uh, what we call instruction, then they are told to do it and so. Then they are told to do it. Or fear unko judgment kar kar ke, wahan pe bata hai, yes, he has understood because he has done it three times. Now we can give him this assignment. So there is no scope of error left. So ye jo chijay hai na, jo dhe dhe jo log kar ke, this they have learned 
Why? Because they have seen those mistakes. And therefore, it says, effort is the secret to getting smarter. Now, the second thing is, difficult, difficult and challenging tasks give the opportunity for the growth. Yes, if you are in a comfort zone, you will not learn. The moment you go with the, uh, we can say, uh, you come out from your comfort zone, you start learning. Because when we are in the comfort zone, there's no scope of learning because already we are comfortable. Mistakes are a greater opportunity to learn and grow. Correct. When we make a mistake, we try to rectify it. When we try to rectify it, we try to work it in a proper manner, better manner. And therefore, the mistakes are a greater opportunity to learn and grow. So you see, this, the, what you call a small uh, designs which is made over there. So the first one, the purple one, I won't do it. The blue, I can't do it. They were all sitting. One was sitting with the clothes, second one actually is looking back. Then we have another figure, I want to do it. He stood and he is turning back. How do I do it? Oh, step Now this orange one is saying, how do I do it? So this is all uh, is happening. And finally the green one, yes, I did it. He's very happy he did it. He learned from his mistakes or he did it. Now, uh, next one, I'll go with the next slide. Uh, yeah. Is this us? We can't do maths. So together, I can't do maths. And yes, I have explained. You can do maths yet. So this is what we need to add on that one. So a growth mindset begins, uh, begins with us all. What do we do when things become difficult? So this is what we do. We try to find out some answers, some, uh, you can say, what we are going to do is the next slide now. Uh, a few mindsets, please, next slide. A few mind shifting tips for cultivating a growth mindset at home. The first is, help child That is soft. Now, avoid leveling. Help children learn to hear their own fixed mindset voice. Get a curious about your children's work through questions. You need to question the child so that when they are, that how did you figure that out? What another way you could have done this one? What could you, uh, what could you try differently next time? So these are the questions that instigate some growth in the mind of the child. That help children get curious about mistakes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five boxes. Avoid leveling. So these are the five boxes, the five questions. These are the five tips, basically that helps you to go with growth mindset. And this we can practice at home when we are at with our child. Now, uh, we will go with the next slide. It says the learning pit and second one, the, what is learning pit? When, when the good learners go into the pit and then they find the solution. So when you are in the deep, you have no choice. You have to come out. And to come out, you need to find out the solutions out of that one. And to reach a higher level of understanding, you must conquer the pit. So <clears throat> zero understanding when you are actually at the lowest level of the pit. Now, <clears throat> that means now, this is a wonderful, uh, you can say, image pictorial uh, slide we need to understand that to reach a higher level of understanding, you must conquer the pit. 
everyone face this pit once or more than once in their life and those who have overcome with the pit they understand how the success is achieved those who have not fallen yet they will never understand and they are not in the position also to fight against those problems is very into i'll conclude with one very important again sharing and australia the in armed forces the selection is done by evaluating the you can say the uh, the candidates uh, profile and they, if they find that someone has achieved or someone has attained a failure in the life then those candidates are given priority over there this is very unique process so in one of the uh, you can say article i was reading that why they do so they do so because they believe the person who has met with maybe some sort of failure in the life they have better solution because if the people has not attained failure in the life they cannot come up with the solution because they have never tested failure so they cannot think the way the person has think with the failure in the life it is must for all of us to understand that to be a successful person you have to actually fall in the pit and then only you are able to give the correct advice to the people to your students to your family to your students and uh, sorry to your, uh, to your you can say kids also thank you thank you very much for listening thank you for giving me time to explain although we had several problems with the technology i am grateful to patliputra sohdia complex for allowing me to come up with this topic and to share with my friends my educator my colleagues and hope to get in touch with all of you once again in future thank you very much have a wonderful day have a nice day thank you if any questions you can put forth we'll i'll try to answer